Hello, Gamer Nobs back. And in this video, we're going to showcase the new upcoming mythical Zoan Mammoth Fruit plus the instructions on joining the Perm Mammoth Fruit giveaway. Okay, but before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. First shout out to Game Robot. Most of the clips that I'll be using came from his video. Okay, guys, so update 20 is almost here. Yes, I can assure that. I will post a video on the sides. <laughs> and aside from the mammoth fruit, I will also be talking about some of the sword, yeah, sword, new sword plus sword reworks in this update. Okay, so again, guys, this video will include the permanent mammoth giveaway. So make sure to watch this video until the end. Okay? Again, guys, I'm going to repeat most of the clips came from Gamer Robot's video. So, guys, credits to him and make sure to subscribe and watch his video, okay? So, for the showcase, guys, I will be uh, sharing my thoughts on it. So, first, this one, Mammoth Fruit is a mythical Zohan type fruit. Uh, it is all the same as the Leopard Fruit. So, let's head to the skills. Z skill, guys, first skill is the Ancient Cutler. So, guys, as you noticed, every time you use the skill, there is a shadow like a Mammoth thing that appears which is really cool to be honest for the range i think it's good like a uh, mid to long range correct me if i'm wrong also guys i have no idea on the cooldown yet plus you can still hit the enemy while you're in the air which is really good right okay that is z skill next up is the x skill that crew prehistoric punt so i think this skill is good for pvp setups guys uh remember the e close z skill right because you will go in the air and you can start your combos as long as you're gonna do it fast, everything will be good. C skill is the Colossal Crasher. So guys, this is just the opposite of the X skill. But Gamer Nom, the enemy is still going up. No guys, that is just the effect. Like the bouncing up is just the effect of the impact. Yes, the impact because your uh, Mammoth will be throwing your enemy down. And the impact, obviously, is the opposite. <laughs> F skill is a Stampede. So guys, as you can see in this clip, you need to hold the F skill or the Stampede to launch or to leap further. Again, guys, you will have, I think you have more damage the longer that you hold it, okay? Again, it has damage. You can also use this one to travel fast. Guys, remember the X skill of the CDK? I'm gonna show it to you. Don't worry. <laughs> this one, guys, right? So if you wanna travel fast, there you go. You can use this one. Again, I have no idea. On the cooldown yes it is good for running <laughs> okay so next up uh, we got the V skill transformation again this is similar to the leopard it has transformation yeah same with also uh, the Buddha fruit right anyways guys I don't know if this uh, transformation has damage because I've seen it in the clip there you go wait I'm gonna show it to you okay see that guys no damage on the enemy near you so let's confirm that when the update comes out also guys, Stampede does unlimited uh, F skill, as long as you hold it, yes, it has damage, but once you get hit, this one will be cancelled. Another good feature, actually this one's cool, is when you jump, right, there's a damage on the impact when you fall. Like for example, this one, see this? <laughs> a jumping mammoth, guys. There you go, guys. See that? There's a damage. Also guys, it has M1. Okay, this one's really good. Check it out, guys. One, two, three. Four, but I don't like it when it's moving forward because again you cannot AFK grind mastery on this one <laughs> just in case you want to reach 600 mastery okay so again developer even told us that it is better than the leopard fruit which means this will be OP the moment it comes out okay for the Z skill transform form there you go notice that it has more slashes plus you will hit it twice also I noticed that Every time you use a skill, it changes its color. See the guys turns to red, which is really cool, guys. <laughs> but you can only aim horizontally, which means you can only aim in front of you. See that, guys? Even if you're uh, in the air, etc. There you go. I don't know if this is this one's good or not. But if your enemy is just in front of you, this is this will be easier to aim, right? For the X skill, there you go. It's the same. Obviously, with more damage and some more effects. Also, guys, you have a Q dash effect. There you go. <laughs> like lunging. I don't know if this has this one has damage. We'll be confirming it once the update comes out. Okay? 
again for the C skill the same but with the opposite effect uh, you will hit your enemy down there you go okay it is more obvious that the impact has a, a smaller bounce right compared to the X skill there you go okay so guys now I know that you've been waiting for this one how to join the giveaway okay so it's kind of easy guys again I will be drawing the winners once the update comes out okay so first obviously you need to like and subscribe to this channel right and then you just need to comment perma plus your username that's it guys again I will draw or I will choose the winner once the update comes out again type perma plus your username in Bloxfoods okay and that's it okay next up guys let's talk about sword so obviously the developer posted this one the new sword maybe anchor now the question is do you need to defeat a boss or this one is a C event drop I don't know let's confirm it soon next up guys new swords that they're talking about ring Goku uh, just a rework sorry just a rework this one okay also did you notice the ring Goku versus pipe a post there you go this one's really cool guys I'm not sure if the pipe has some flame effect on it now because uh, Sabo is using it right the new holder of the flame fruit next up again the dark blade there you go rework version cool okay this one check the range guys also let's not forget about the gravity cane there you go again if you want to get this one you can get it from Fajita or Fujitara in the second C green zone also for the saber lovers out there this one is one of the most powerful swords in the game there you go very easy to get and let's not forget the common and uncommon swords the katana and dual katana okay there you go so what else hmm oh guys the new fruits okay we have new fruits aside from mammoth fruit right also this one guys this post i think we will be having more sea events Guys, did you notice the post wherein they're fighting a, a really big sea beast or sea king? I don't know, guys. Again, more sea events, meaning more new mobs to kill and new events to finish. Also, again, new items to unlock the swords, especially the new accessories that will improve our damages. Guys, how about this? Is this a new fruit, do you think? New fruit? Uh, yeah, I think this is once a new fruit or a reworked fruit. Also this one guys, some told me that this is the rework, uh, Shadow Fruit, also this one, I think this one is the Mammoth Fruit, right? Also let's not forget the Gas Fruit, okay? So I think that's it guys, I'm so excited for this update, again I will be posting more videos on Blast Fruits, I've been seeing your comments, okay? So see you on my next video, again to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all, this is Gamer Gnome. Update 20 is near, guys. See you. Bye-bye.